Right, it's Sunday the 20th of December. Gonna go back in the box for another one. Let's have a look. So we've got four left. Uh, Bar Humbug, the black IPA from Gary Portman. Right, so let's open this up. Black IPA. Oh, smell fantastic. Wow. Apollo Citra and Amarillo. Wow, that is a proper citrusy smell coming out of there. Let's see if I can get this glass a bit drier. Right, so I just washed it up. So we're going straight in there. That smell out of there. Oh, that's fantastic. Only black IPA we've had this year. It's been lots of stouts, a couple of porters. This is the only black IPA. Sometimes you have black IPAs. I've found that they're not always that dark. This looks very dark. Oh, I may have poured a little something in there at the end. Dark, maybe slightly brownish this one compared to black as some of the stouts have been which isn't a problem I don't think with black IPA but beautiful looking beer a lovely head that's poured out of that I didn't pour that very uh, vigorously at all a beautiful sort of silky looking smooth head yeah definitely oh I'm getting chocolate chocolate and Amarillo you can't beat that really chocolate citra and Amarillo absolutely fantastic aroma Beautiful, sort of, you know, really pungent, fruity aroma. Lovely. And a little bit of, like, chocolate in the back there. Definitely. So what's he put in here? Maris Otter, chocolate, and black prins. And I've never heard of black prins before. Um, so don't know what to expect from that. But anyway, cheers, Gary. I'm going to uh, jump in here. Absolutely fantastic. There's, it's not thick like a stout is, but that's you know you come to expect that of a black IPA. Slightly thinner in the mouthfeel. Absolutely fine with me with that. The hops aren't as uh, uh, um, strong in the mouthfeel. I don't think as they are on the nose. On the nose, I'm getting a real sort of fruity, uh, a real fruity smell. It's not as fruity. It's there, definitely, but yeah, it's definitely there. It is definitely there, but it's not as what you kind of expect, maybe, when you're doing the uh, when you can take your, your nose when you get the aroma. It's slightly less fruity with the actual taste, but it's not. Don't get me wrong, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. A lot of a lot of people get turned off by um, black IPAs being sort of like, you know, you, you look at it and you expect to get a stout or a, or a porter, but when you're tasting it, you're getting a sort of, almost like a fruity IPA sort of flavour, but that's absolutely fantastic. I love a black IPA, me. Another Triumph, brilliant beer. Thank you very much. As I say, that is slightly, it's slightly brownish rather than black, I'd say, personally, um, but absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Gary. A lovely beer. Um, your Bar Humbug. Fantastic beer, fantastic name. I'm feeling very Bar Humbug right now, so I need to have a beer, mate. So uh, that has helped me cheer me up. So cheers, Gary. Cheers, guys. Take care, and I'll be back for another one tomorrow, probably. Take care. Bye bye. Ba 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 